namin Diyos. Maraming salamat po sa buhay at lakas na aming tagnay. Sa liwanag ng kaisipan at sa pagkakataon maipagpatuloy ang pag-aaral ng mga kabataan. Gabay ko po ang bawat isa sa amin. Ano man ang bahagi na aming gagampanan na huwag maging maayos at matagumpay ang pagtuturo at pag-aaral na aming gagawin sa araw na ito. Patawarin mo po kami sa aming mga pagkulang at pagkakasala. At sa aming pagawa, ikaw po ang aming makasala. Ang bayan ko'y tanging ikaw Pilipinas kong mahal Ang puso ko Good morning, Grade 11 students. Welcome to Valenzuela Live Facebook Live Streaming in General Mathematics. I'm Sir Rodel Rojas from Bignay National High School, your live streaming teacher for today. Now we're going to discuss Lesson 4 of Quarter 2 entitled Fair Market Value and Deferred Annuities. It is actually the continuation of the topic last week which is Annuity. For our learning objectives, at the end of our session, it is expected that you will be able to, number one, calculate the fair market value of a cash flow stream that includes an annuity. And number two, calculate the present value and period of deferral of a deferred annuity. Let's recall first what you have learned from the previous lesson which is annuity. Complete the table by filling up the columns with the required values. Monthly payments of 2,000 pesos for 5 years with an interest rate of 12% compounded quarterly. We are going to find R, which is the regular payment, I for interest rate, M for number of conversions, T for term, and N for the number of payments. Kindly type your answers in our comment section. Very good. R equals 2,000 pesos. I raised to M equals 0 0.12. That is 12% converted to decimal. M equals 4 since it, it is compounded quarterly. T equals 5 for 5 years. And N equals 20 because N equals M times T equals 4 times 5. Next, find J for equivalent interest rate per payment interval. Please comment your answer.
excellent. J equals 0 0.00990163405. Since payments are monthly and interest rate of 12% compounded quarterly, must be converted to its equivalent interest rate that is compounded monthly. Next, find F for future value of an ordinary annuity. Thumbs up. F equals 43,995.87 pesos. Using the formula, F equals R times the quantity of 1 plus J raised to N minus 1 all over J. Last one, find P for present value of an ordinary annuity. Great. P equals 36,126.88 pesos using the formula P equals R times 1 minus the quantity of 1 plus J raised to negative N all over J. Let us now proceed to part 1 of our lesson today, the fair market value of a cash flow. Fair market value is the price an asset would sell for on the open market when certain conditions are met. The conditions are as follows. Number one, the parties involved are aware of all the facts. Number two, are acting in their own interest. Number three, are free of any pressure to buy or sell. And number four, have ample time to make decisions. This lesson focuses on calculating the fair market value of a cash flow stream on an annuity. Let us define important terms in this lesson, the cash flow and the fair market value. Let's have first cash flow. Cash flow is a term that refers to payments received, which is cash inflows, or payments or deposits made, which is cash outflows. Cash inflows can be represented by positive numbers and cash outflows can be represented by negative numbers. It is also the amount of cash and cash equivalents being transferred into and out of the business. Next is fair market value. The fair market value or economic value of cash flow, which is payment stream on a particular date refers to a single amount that is equivalent to the value of the payment stream at that date. This particular date is called the focal date. In its simplest sense, Fair market value or capital letter FMV is the price that an asset would sell for on the open market. Let's try to solve word problems to understand the lesson better. Sample problem number one. Mr. Johnson received two offers on a lot that he wants to sell. Mr. Kennedy has offered 80,000 pesos and a 1 million peso lump sum payment for 5 years from now. Mr. Francisco has offered 80,000 pesos plus 40,000 pesos every quarter for 5 years. Compare fair market values of two offers if money can earn 5% compounded annually. Which offer has a higher market value? First, let us illustrate the cash flows of the two offers using time diagrams. For Mr. Kennedy's offer, it is similar to a number line. We start with 0 and end with 5 since term or t equals 5. At the top of 0, we write 80,000 pesos for down payment and no payment for year 1 up to year 4 and a lump sum of 1 million pesos for year 5. For Mr. Francisco's offer, we start with 0 and end with 20. Since we have 4 quarters in every year, up to 4-5 years, for a total of 20 quarters. 
at the top of zero, we write 80,000 for down payment and 40,000 pesos for every quarter. Since Mr. Francisco's periodic payment or R equals 40,000 pesos. Question, which offer has a higher fair market value? So let us find the fair market value of each offer. For Mr. Kennedy's offer, the following given are down payment, 80,000 pesos, future value, 1 million pesos, the interest rate, which is 5%, convert into decimal, that is 0 0.05, therefore I equals 0 0.05. Term is 5 years. M is the value of the conversion period, which is 1 for annually. N equals M times T equals 1 times 5. So, N equals 5. Next, the interest rate per period, which is J equals I over M. Or, 0 0.05 over 1. Or, J equals 0 0.05. For the solution, since 80,000 pesos is offered today, then its present value is still 80,000 pesos. Then find the present value of 1 million pesos offered 5 years from now. Let us use the formula P equals F times 1 plus J raised to negative N and substitute the given. F equals 1 million pesos. J equals 0 0.05 and N equals 5. So we have P equals 1 million pesos times the quantity of 1 plus 0 0.05 raised to negative 5. And using the scientific calculator, the answer is P equals 783,526.17 pesos. Here's how the solution will look like once you encode it in your scientific calculator. The fair market value equals down payment plus present value. Down payment is 80,000 pesos and the present value is 783,526.17 pesos. And the result is FMV equals 863,526.17 pesos. For Mr. Francisco's offer, the following given are down payment equals 80,000 pesos, regular payment 40,000 pesos, the interest rate I equals 0 0.05, term is 5 years, the value of the conversion period M sub 1 equals 4 because of the word quarterly, and M sub 2 equals 1 for compounded annually. For N equals M times T equals 4 times 5, so N equals 20 periods. Next, equivalent interest rate J is unknown. To find J, we first compute for the present value of a general annuity with quarterly payments but with annual compounding at 5%. So the equivalent rate compounded quarterly of 5% compounded annually. The formula is J equals the quantity of 1 plus I over M sub 2 raised to M sub 2 over M sub 1 minus 1. I is 0 0.05. M sub 2 equals 1. M sub 1 equals 4. Substitute the given. We have J equals the quantity of 1 plus 0 0.05 over 1 raised to 1 over 4 minus 1. Using scientific calculator, the answer is 0 0.01227234433. Therefore, J equals 0 0.01227234433. Next is to solve for the present value. The formula is P equals R times 1 minus the quantity of 1 plus J raised to negative n all over j. r is 40,000. j equals 0 0.01227234433. n equals 20. By substitution, it will become p equals 40,000 times 1 minus the quantity of 1 plus 
0.01-2272-3443 raised to negative 20 all over 0.01-2272-3443 Then use the scientific calculator. The answer is 7572.68 pesos. Therefore, P equals 705,000 572.68 pesos. Next is to solve for the fair market value, which fair market value equals down payment plus present value. FMV equals 80,000 pesos plus 705,572.68 pesos is equal to FMB equals 785,572.68 pesos. Let us now answer the question in number 1. Which offer has a higher market value? The fair market value of Mr. Kennedy Kennedy's offer is 863,526.17 pesos while Mr. Francisco's offer is 785,572.68 pesos. Hence, Mr. Kennedy's offer has a higher market value. The difference between the market values of the two offers at the end of the term is 863,526.17 pesos minus 785,572.68 pesos equals 77,953 Point forty-nine pesos. If I am Mr. Johnson, I will choose Mr. Kennedy's offer. Let us now proceed to our sample problem number two. Compan Company A offers 150,000 pesos at the end of three years plus 300,000 pesos at the end of five years by paying every six months. Company B offers 25,000 pesos at the end of each quarter for the next 5 years. Assume that money is worth 8% compounded semi-annually, which offers has a better market value. Again, let us illustrate the cash flows of the two offers using time diagrams. For company A offer, we start with 0 and end with 5 since term or T equals 5. At the top of 3, we write 150,000 pesos for the payment at the end of 3 years and 300,000 pesos at the end of 5 years. For company B's offer, we start with 0 and end with 20. Since we have 4 quarters in every year, up to 4 5 years for a total of 20 quarters. At the top of number 1, we write 25,000 pesos for the first quarter payment and so on. Question? which offer has a better market value. So let us find the fair market value of each offer. For company A, offer, suppose that selected focal date is the start of the term, compute for the present value. The following given are, first, future value or F sub 1 equals 150,000 pesos at the end of 3 years. Second, future value or F sub 2 equals 300,000 pesos at the end of 5 years. So, to determine the fair market value is to add the two present value. The interest rate, with, which is 8%, convert into decimal, 0 0.08. Therefore, I equals 0 0.08. Term is 3 years and 5 years. The number of conversion, M equals 2. The number of payments, n equals 6 and 10. Next, the interest rate per period which is j equals i over m or 0 0.08 over 2 or j equals 0 0.04. For the solution, the present value of an annuity is given by the formula p equals f times the quantity of 1 plus j raised to negative 1. For the first present value or P sub 1, F equals 150,000 pesos, J equals 0 0.04, and N equals 6. 
substitute the given, so we have P sub 1 equals 150,000 pesos times the quantity of 1 plus 0 0.04 raised to negative 6. And using the scientific calculator, the answer is P sub 1 equals 118,547.18 pesos. For the second present value or P sub 2, F equals 300,000 pesos, J equals 0 0.04, and N equals 10. Substitute the given, so we have P sub 2 equals 300,000 pesos times the quantity of 1 plus 0 0.04 raised to negative 10. And using the scientific calculator, the answer is P sub 2 equals 202,669.25 pesos. The fair market value or FMV equals P sub 1 plus P sub 2. By substitution, FMV equals 118,547.18 pesos plus 202,669.25 pesos. And that is equal to 321,216.43 pesos. For company B offer, the following given are regular payment is 25,000 pesos, the interest rate I equals 0 0.08, term is 5 years, the value of the conversion per period M sub 1 equals 4 because of the word quarterly, and M sub 2 equals 2 for compounded semi-annually. For N equals M sub 1 times T, which is 4 times 5. So N equals 20 periods. Next, equivalent interest rate J is unknown. Let us solve the equivalent rate compounded quarterly of 8% compounded semi-annually. The formula is J equals 1 plus I over M sub 2 raised to M sub 2 over M sub 1 minus 1. I is 0 0.08. M sub 1 equals 4. M sub 2 equals 2. Then substitute the given. We have J equals the quantity of 1 plus 0 0.08 over 2 raised to 2 over 4 minus 1. Using scientific calculator, the answer is 0 0.019803902.72. Therefore, J equals 0 0.019803902.72. Next is solved for the present value. The formula is P equals R times 1 minus the quantity of 1 plus J raised to negative N over J. R equals 25,000, J equals 0 0.019803903, and N equals 20. So by substitution, it, it will become P equals 25,000 pesos times 1 minus the quantity of 1 plus 0 0.019803903 raised to negative 20 all over 0 0.01. 9803903 and use the scientific calculator the answer is 409560.47 pesos therefore p equals 409560.47 pesos it's time to answer the question in sample problem number 2 which offer has a better market value the fair market value of company A offer is 321,216.43 pesos while company B offer is 409,560.47 pesos. Therefore, company B's offer is preferable since its market value is larger. Next lesson is deferred annuity. Deferred annuity is an annuity that does not begin until a given time of interval has passed. It is a kind of annuity whose payments or deposits starts in more than one period from the present. Likewise, 
the first payment interval does not coincide with the first interest period and it is put off to some later date. Period of deferral is a time between the purchase of an annuity and the start of the payments for the deferred annuity. This is the time diagram for a deferred annuity. We have the deferred annuity of end payment or the actual payment, the no payment for K periods or the artificial payment, and the first payment start on the K plus 1 period. One way to find the period of deferral is to count the number of artificial payments. Let us have an example. Find the period of deferral in each of the following deferred annuity problem. This is the problem. Annual payments of 8,000 pesos for 12 years that will start 5 years from now. 5 years from now is at Y5 or year 5. The period of deferral will be from Y0 to Y4. No payment of 8,000 pesos for that period. Thus, the period of deferral is 4 periods or 4 years. Another solution is to find the term will start 5 years and the word annual. So, 5 minus 1 is 4. Now, it's your turn. Find the period of deferral in each of the following deferred annuity problem. Number 1. Monthly payments of 2,000 pesos for 5 years that will start 7 months from now. Find the, the period of deferral. Just type your answer in the comment box. 5 seconds. Go. Time is up. The first payment is at time 7. The period of deferral will be from time 0 to 6, which is equivalent to 6 periods or 6 months. Or it will start at 7 months and the word monthly. So 7 minus 1 equals 6. Number 2, quarterly payments of 5,000 for 8 years. That will start 2 years from now. 5 seconds, go. Time is up. The answer is 7 periods or 7 quarters. It will start at 2 years and the word quarterly payments. We have 4 quarters every year. So 8 quarters in 2 years. 8 minus 1 equals 7. Number 3. Semi-annual payments of 60,000 pesos for 10 years. That will start 5 years from now. 5 seconds, go. Time is up. The answer is 9 periods or 9 semi-annual intervals. It will start 5 years from now and consider the word semi-annually means twice a year. So 5 times 2 is 10 minus 1 equals 9. Number 4, payments of 3,000 pesos every 2 years for 10 years starting at the end of 6 years. 5 seconds, go. Time is up. The answer is 2 periods or 2 year intervals. The first payment is due at the end of 6 years, which is at the time 3 if payments are every 2 years. The period of deferral is from time 0 to time 2. Last number, 5 payments of 5,000 pesos every 4 months for 10 years. That will start 5 years from now. 5 seconds, go. Time is up. The answer is 14 periods or 14 4-month intervals. The first payment is due at the end of 5 years which is at the time 15 if payments are every 4 months. The period of deferral is from time 0 to time 14. Congratulations, class. 
let's move on to the present value of a deferred annuity. To get the present value of a deferred annuity, we will follow the formula. P equals R times 1 minus the quantity of 1 plus J raised to negative the quantity of K plus N all over J minus R times 1 minus the quantity of 1 plus J raised to negative K all over J wherein R equals regular payment, J equals interest rate per period, and the number of payments, K, the number of conversion periods in the deferral or number of artificial payments. Let us answer sample number one of a deferred annuity. On his 40th birthday, Mr. Richards decided to buy a pension plan for himself. This plan will allow him to claim 20,000 pesos quarterly for 5 years, starting 3 months after his birthday. What one-time payment should he make on his 40th birthday to pay off this pension plan if the interest rate is 8% compounded quarterly? Given the regular payment R equals 20,000 pesos, I equals 0 0.08, T equals 5, M equals 4 since quarterly, the number of payments N equals M times T equals 4 times 5, 20. Interest rate per period J equals I raised to 4 over M equals 0 0.08 over 4 equals 0 0.02. And for the number of period of deferral or artificial payments, let us use the time diagram. The annuity is deferred for 20 years, the difference of his 60th birthday and 40th birthday. Since quarterly, 20 multiplied by 4 equals 80. The first payment is due 3 months or 1 quarter after his 60th birthday or at the end of the 81st conversion period. Thus, there are 80 artificial payments or period of deferral. The number of artificial payments, K equals 80. For the solution, the present value P of a deferred annuity is given by the formula P equals R times 1 minus the quantity of 1 plus J raised to negative of the quantity K plus N all over J minus R times 1 minus the quantity of 1 plus J raised to negative K all over J. Again, the given R R equals 20,000 pesos, M equals 4, J equals 0 0.02, K equals 80, and N equals 20. Next is substitute the given to the formula. We have P equals 20,000 pesos times 1 minus the quantity of 1 plus 0 0.02 raised to negative of the quantity 80 plus 20 all over 0 0.02 minus 20,000 times 1 minus the quantity of 1 plus 0 0.02 raised to negative 80 all over 0 0.02. Using scientific calculator, the result is 67,076.76 pesos. Therefore, Mr. Richard should pay a one-time payment of 67,076.76 pesos on his 40th birthday. Next, sample problem number two. A credit card company offers a deferred payment option for the purchase of any appliance. Rose plans to buy a smart television set with monthly payments of 4,000 pesos for two years. The payments will start at the end of three months. How much is the cash price of the TV set if the interest rate is 10% compounded monthly? The given R the regular payment R equals 4,000 pesos, I equals 0 0.10, T equals 2, M equals 12 since monthly. The number of payments N equals 24. Interest rate per period J equals I raised to 12 over M equals 0 0.10 over 12 equals 0 0.00833. Rounded off to 5 decimal places since 3 is a repeating decimal. 
And for the number of period of deferral or artificial payments, using the time diagram, the annuity is deferred for 2 months. The first payment is due at the end of 3 months or at the end of the third conversion period. Thus, there are two artificial payments. For the solution, the present value P of a deferred annuity is given by the formula P equals R times 1 minus the quantity of 1 plus J raised to negative of the quantity K plus N all over J minus R times 1 minus the quantity of 1 plus J raised to negative K all over J. Again, the given R, R equals 4,000 pesos, M equals 12, J equals 0 0.00833, K equals 2, and N equals 24. Next is substitute the given to the formula. We have P equals 4,000 pesos times 1 minus the quantity of 1 plus 0 0.0033, raised to negative of the quantity 2 plus 24 all over 0 0.00833 minus 4,000 times 1 minus the quantity of 1 plus 0 0.00833 raised to negative 2 all over 0 0.00833 Using scientific calculator, the result is 85,260.53 pesos Therefore, the cash price of the TV set is 85,260.53 pesos. If you have any question, you may ask your subject teacher tomorrow during your follow-up discussions and you may start answering what I can do and assessment of lesson 4. That's all for today. Again, I'm Sarodel D. Rojas, your live streaming teacher today. Always remember class, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4.13 Let's always be courageous despite this pandemic. Stay safe and stay at home. May God bless us all. Thank you and goodbye.